You are looking at the ECS Elite Group Black GTS 250. This is a PC Express 2.0 graphics card from NVIDIA and it has a 512 dedicated VRAM for the GPU. It's a GDDR3 memory with a 256-bit memory width and 2x dual link DVI. Over here, it supports NVIDIA SLI, physics by NVIDIA. 3D Vision, both 3D Discover, 3D Vision Discover and 3D Vision. More expensive alternative is the 3D Vision. I'll recommend you to go just for the 3D Vision Discover. Just get yourself a blue and red deals, I mean cyan and red 3D goggles and you are ready to watch 3D on your computer. And it's, yes, it's graphics by NVIDIA. Over here is a HDMI support, I think. There's a HDMI port or either a DVI to HDMI converter. PC Express 2.0, DirectX 10, OpenGL 2.1, HDTV, HDCP, and Dual Link DVI. Ansys on NVIDIA. Okay, nothing much. I wonder what's the black for? Is this factory overclock? I'm not very sure. Turn on physics, kick it into stereoscopic 3D and give us something to talk about. Not bad at all. Nice packaging. There's CUDA. GeForce with CUDA Graphics Plus. And other than that, we have the different features in different languages. Fran um, French, German, Espanol, Portuguese, Turkey, I'm not sure. And this is Korean and this is Japanese. For any more information, go to www.ecs.com.tw But this is an uh, unboxing video, so I'm going to unbox the ECS Black GTS 250 from NVIDIA now. I'm unboxing. Let's go, don't you think? <laughs> oh, there's a hand there. Go. Give me some minute. I have to use my leg. Yeah. Well, it's out. Anything else? Let's open this box. It's well packaged. Well, bubble wraps. I love bubble wraps. Don't you like to play bubble wraps? It's quite a quite heavy actually. The accessories first. We have um, two more legs to a PCIe six pin connector. Well, what's under this? Yes, I'm right. You have um, uh, this is the DVI to VGA converter or adapter. Then we have the DVI to HDMI. This is what you use to connect to the SPD for your motherboard to the graphics card so that your HDMI output have one your HDMI 1.3 can uh, I mean transmit the audio the analog audio is it digital or the digital audio from the HDMI cable onto your TV. We have the V GA driver over here. I don't recommend you to install this, but you see, download the latest drivers from NVIDIA website. And there's a very cool font with the graphics card user manual. Wow, that's so cool. It's available in English. Okay, I'll focus this. It's available in English, Japanese, Korean, blah blah blah, and blah blah, and fan ti zhong wen. But no, there's no jian ti because it's Taiwan. Okay, very cool, huh? Okay, anyway, what is this? HDMI adapter installation guide. Step one, align SPD. Yes, yes, this one. This is what I was saying. You connect this end of the this end of the connector provided is over here to the motherboard. Then you connect 
Oh, then you find the SP diff header and you connect these two ends to the SP diff. After that, uh, connect pin 1 and pin 4 the SP diff. Yes, it's just basically connection. Use the HDMI, I mean the DVI to HDMI converter and use the HDMI ca cable to connect to the TV. That's so easy. Okay, anyway. Here's the cable. Let's look at the card itself. I know this is what you're looking, you're waiting for, right? Whoa! Within the bubble wrap, there's actually another pack, anti static pack. Here we have it. It's really heavy. Attention, anti static sensitive device. Handle only with static safe hook station. Reusable container do not destroy. I'll use my scissors. Give me some time. Whoa, whoa, beefy, beefy. Heavy and beefy, oh my god. I can't put it out. Yes, it's. Whoa! Oh my god, look at this. ECS Black GTS 250. I think this is a fan from Arctic Cooling because ECS uses Arctic Cooling fans. Look at this. The back of it, oh my god. Is this a very hot card? I'm not sure. Made in China. Ah. It's really, it really looks good, man. Oh my god, look at this. Now this is your SLI connector, and this is where your uh, the audio cable from into your SPD of your motherboard goes to. Over here, we have the dual link DVI. We have two DVIs, and this is the S video. requires a 6 pin motherboard, a uh, 6 pin connector so if you don't have one perhaps I will recommend you to um, upgrade your PSU instead of using the Molex to the 2 Molex to 6 pin connector provided always use one 6 pin connector SLI ready, Elite Group, ECS a thumbs up for this graphics card because it really looks good with this third party cooler from Arctic Cooling. Oh my god, look at that. That's my fingerprints. Oh yeah, PCI Express <coughs> <coughs> PCI Express 2.0 <coughs> X16 slot. Prefer you to get it with the X16. Plug it into X16 slot, not X8. You get the full bandwidth out of it. And let me check other specifications. This uh, graphics card it uses a G92 GPU, so actually, your 8800 uh, GTS, your 8800 GT, if I'm not wrong, and your GTX 9800 are uh, all runs on the G92 GPU. So, this is actually a similar card to that, but the difference is the core clock it runs at 738 megahertz, the shader clock is at 1836 megahertz, the memory clock is at 1100. Memory bandwidth of 70.4 GB per second and this graphics card can do, can do 470.016 gigaflops per second I mean gigaflops, yeah What gigaflops mean? It means uh, giga floating point Yeah, you get what I mean Anyway, this is the end of the review I think that this graphics card is actually coming down in price because of the new Fermi card from NVIDIA the GTX 465, 470 and 480 and this card is actually less than $200 at this point of time and it's actually a great performer and it's recommended for if you are going for some gaming but you are on a budget because this only has a, a DirectX 10 and not the newest DirectX 11 and, but it still does better, it has a better price for uh, to the performance ratio compared to those DirectX 11 cards so uh, do look up for some performance from this card, thank you For more information about this product, you can visit www.zengmycommodoblogspot.com or feel free to email me at wisezook.techgeekhg at gmail.com Thank you very much and hope you have a nice day